Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and get you started with uh, WordPress. And let's go. So, uh, this is WordPress, and what you can do is um, let's go ahead and hit get started. And you'll see that um, if you go to plans and pricing, you can go to um, the free one. So, just start with free, click on that. And then you create your um, your account. I highly recommend do not use your school account. Um, if you're going to use this website long term, uh, use something with um, your personal uh, email account. So after you do that, go ahead and click on. Um, that blue button and you should take you to choose your own domain so when you choose your domain um, be professional especially if you're going to send this out to anybody uh, your email as well have a professional email um, so after you choose your domain it's it's good to go select free right here and then uh, it'll take you here uh, and then click on start building. Uh, you might want to check your email because they will send you a click here confirmation. Click to confirm. And then once you go, um, that last um, button will take you here. Themes. Um, you can pick whatever theme you want. I chose portfolio because this is going to be a portfolio for you all. And uh, you can use this for your project-based learning portfolios and build this as you uh, progress through uh, school. So I happen to choose this theme and um, yeah, so I went. All right, uh, first thing I did was go to the home page and I changed um, some of the words. That's it's a template, so you just gotta change you know, certain things. Um, so my first paragraph right here, um, I basically just say what this, the purpose of this web page is. Um, I said August 2021 to current, um, but obviously if you have stuff that you want to put into this website that's prior to August 2021, it's before, uh, you change the date. Um, so WordPress works in blocks, so this is a block, and we're just basically stacking blocks to make these look great, um, these websites look great. So these, this picture's not mine, I'm going to replace this with something. Um, I went ahead and replaced this with um, some images that I already have, so I'm going to upload and just find where the... go and found it so um yeah i was thinking just i could just use that one um yeah this looks good so i'll go ahead and use this one hit open and there you have it so i was able to replace the existing picture with that one um I could add a caption, but I think this really sums it up. Um, I'm gonna change this to 22. This is a hyperlink, uh, basically goes to a different page. Um, I'll show you how to edit that. So you can edit this to whatever you want. Um, I already did. Um, and when you're done, hit this submit. Um, you won't have this website yet, but I'll show you how to create that. And then when you're done, um, you can click this open to uh, where if once you click on this, uh, it'll open up into a new tab. 
So all a hyperlink is, is if you've ever been on a web page and it says click here for more information and you click there and it takes you to a different page, that's what a hyperlink is. And so in fact, let's go ahead and um, show you how to do that. Um, after you do any changes, make sure you hit update or publish. The first one, it will be published and then anything after that will be update. That's, that's how you hit save. All right, so I can go right here, go to view pages, and these are all my pages that I have so far. I created this Colorado Street Bridge project page. You can do the same. You won't have this, but you can just click add a new page and name it something, something else. And so I named that this. And so we're going to go ahead and Um, go through what I have done. So this, um, oh, you'll also see something like this when you first come up to uh, WordPress. Um, it's a little tutorial about what everything is. Um, so everything is a block, so um, kind of went over that a little bit. You'll get in more into it when um, I start showing you more things. Adding a new block is right here. Uh, you just click on that and you can insert, um, you know, paragraph or pictures or videos, all kinds of different things. This is your toolbar. Uh, you use it to change things, uh, move things, appearances, make things bold. And then you have options uh, right over here. That's the uh, settings, so you can do more things. Um, this one I really don't use. Find your way. It's just like a vertical map of where everything is. Um, this is the back button. So control Z is also very useful here. And this right here, uh, you can just click and hold and drag things to a proper space. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. So here I just renamed uh, this block into Colorado Street Bridge Project. Um, I was thinking I could add a block here of the original um, Colorado Street block. So uh, Colorado uh, Bridge, uh, Colorado Street Bridge. So I'm going to click here, add image, uh, upload image, and then I'm going to use this original because it looks nice and old. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to replace it. Uh, I mean, uh, add any captions. I think this really says a lot. So this paragraph I got, uh, these paragraphs I got from the presentation boards. Um, and then you go down to here. Um, I changed the words. I kind of just talked about what we did briefly uh you're welcome to pause this uh video and just kind of take a look at that these i just happen to take a look at all this and you can tile mosaically you can do square tiles all kinds of different things. Um, I can move this by clicking this arrow. You know, that could be there. Tile columns. I'm not sure if I want that. Let me hit update. So I'm going to show you. A preview so you can preview what it looked like in a desktop tablet mobile but if I go right here to new tab this will show me the actual page and what it's supposed to look like I do not like that one so I'm going to change that go back over here change that to ah, circles are fine 
hit update, go back over here. Um, let me hit refresh. And so this is my view. This is what this project will look like. It's all said and done. Uh, I did add the case study. So right underneath, I added the case study. Um, added a little blurb on that. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, so there you have it. You know, this, I could do the same, change this. Hmm, let me undo that. There we go, Let's do circles, why not keep it? Keep it the same. Click on update. Let's go to columns. See, I think that looks good. update go over here there we go Just circles. Let's see what that looks like. There you go. Kind of like the way that looks. So I'm good with that. So I'm going to close that out and this page is good oh if i have any social medias i can connect them so simply by adding the url to it so you would enter the url here hit enter and then it'll take you to the website um, here, you would add in the rest of your um, Facebook, Twitter as well, Instagram, LinkedIn, the whole bit. But so now I'm going to go back to view pages, go to the home page.
And I'm good with this. So I change this to my work, change it to there. This I'm going to replace. I'm going to upload an image. Mm. Here it is. So coming soon, um, I'm just going to leave these open. Um, that way I don't have to quite fill them in. Um, I can go ahead and change this to I can always go back and change this. What just happened? There you go. I can change this to 2022. And there you have it. I'm going to do the same with these other two. And then these, I don't know what I'm going to quite do with it, but I'm going to change that. You know, this probably talk about my. Um, creative process and then this I'll probably change as well use a quote for myself uh, don't need to let's work together um, probably change that to, to do something else but again um, this is a great start into um, how to create a portfolio website for yourself.